Honestly, I was really excited about the sci-fi aspect and just the fact that it was written based on a book. I thought it was really interesting. I was when I was younger, I went through like a weird, really random like sci-fi romance novel phase, which I thought was like very specific to the script. So it made me like something inside me was like, oh my god, like lit up again about it. I play Chloe Marsh, and I would describe her as a smart, innovative, not aggressive, but like a go-getter, sort of. I feel like she, I feel like she cares a lot more for her family than she lets on. I feel like her family, they're always all kind of fighting, but she wants the best for them, and I think she will do anything to make sure that her and the people she cares about are good and set in life. Ooh, the world that this takes place in is crazy, and these aliens have come, and they hover over us constantly, 24-7. Um, and they've kind of just completely ruined the... They've ruined everything, and they think, they think they've made it better, but they've ruined a lot, and then they've, they've also divided the, peop the people of planet Earth, like, entirely, like, even more so. They've divided them, and, you know, the... the rich people, they can go live up top, and then, and the people before that would have had a respect on Earth now have lost that respect completely and entirely, and the world is just kind of like, it looks like there was like a war, everything's dilapidated and just like, down to its bones basically, in the, yeah, it's, it's a struggle for sure. I would describe Adam to be a very sweet, thoughtful, artistic person. I feel like he feels emotions a lot more than Chloe does, which comes into play a little later, which is a little sad, but he definitely he feels he feels things a lot. I don't know if that makes sense, but he's very empathetic. I think she does genuinely like him, but I think to her and her mindset, because she is less emotional than Adam, I think she sort of puts making money for her family first, which she literally says <laughs> in a scene, but I think she truly does like Adam a lot, but I think at some point she realizes maybe he is into her more than she is into him and I think that is kind of what like puts her back a little bit and is like maybe we shouldn't do the broadcast anymore because I think a part of her just feels bad. So a courtship broadcast is when two people <laughs> they have these in the movie they have like nodes and they they can either like get things from the VUV or they can broadcast signals to the VUV. So they start basically doing live streams of them like going on cute little dates, like totally like glamorized lifestyle, like pretending the earth isn't like falling apart. Um, and the VUV, it's kind of like a TV show for them. They watch and they get money from it. But working with Asante is the best. Uh, he's super funny. We're both always sleeping, generally. <laughs> we both sleep a lot in the green room. But he's super fun to work with, super funny, very cool. Tiffany's hilarious. I haven't worked with her much. I've only worked with her two or three days, but she's so funny. Every time she's on set, every single person is just like laughing the whole time. Corey's great. I think I, he's one of the nicest <laughs> directors I've worked with. He's so sweet. Um, uh, yeah, he really knows. I appreciate him because he really knows how to 
speak to his actors. You know what I mean? He knows how to he knows how to talk to people in general. He's just a very understanding person. And if you want to change a line or add a line or you want to do something differently, blah, 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 he's o always open to like anything you want to try. And I think it's so great to have such an understanding, outspoken director.